I mean, when you think of the demand of a product doubling by the end of the decade, well, where are we going to get it from if we don't build it here? To have the opportunity to add tens of thousands of really good paying jobs, uh, a lot of which will be in the state of Arizona. My obsession at the Commerce Department is to help America compete, to enhance America's competitiveness in the world. And enhancing America's competitiveness in the world begins right here in buildings just like this, which is to say the government, basic research and development, money from the government coming together with business from the biggest to the smallest, uh, with academics solving the problems of today and tomorrow. We have shown a practical working model how this could be. Now how you could take cutting edge equipment, marry it to a visionary university system, and pump graduates that our industry really needs, right? And not just graduates who work on machines, but can invent new stuff. The legislation is not just about building semiconductor chips. It's also not just about you know, science, it's about the connection between the two and building this national microelectronics commons that we hope will be uh, partly or maybe all of it based here at ASU. But at least, you know, it does make, certainly makes a ton of sense that ASU becomes part of that microelectronics commons. What we're talking about here is not just the unbelievably complicated task of manufacturing these unbelievable beyond conceptualization devices called microchips, but it's basically the fuel to take us to the next level of innovation for everything that we're doing.